Hello everybody, it's Patty again. Um, you may have seen this cover in a previous video that I did today. Um, this is going to be, as I said in the other video, my personal Tula 12 business um, planner. This is so much more than a calendar, it's going to blow your mind. So if you're in direct sales, network marketing, MLM, what have you, this is probably going to take your productivity and your efficiency, if not to the next level, to the level above that. <laughs> so here we go. Um, this is one of our extra large interchangeable 2.0 covers. Um, as I said in the other one, this is the denim blue cover. I have the front cover to match that. I got this gorgeous thing in today. And the cool thing is, is it's so easy to change your style if you get kind of tired of a new one or, or you know, the old style. You can change it out in like two seconds. Simply unzip the front off and zip a new one on and you're good. You don't have to take anything apart in your planner to do that. So let's do a quick rundown of what I got here. We've got a nice secretary pocket in the back of that cover. I have a dashboard sleeve here with some of our planner cards inside. I've got, I'm trying to get it where you can see everything here. Okay. And then on the back side, I've got the time zone chart because I work with people all across the country and I'm on Eastern time. I just want to make sure, you know, that I'm touching base with folks when they're available. You know, I don't want to get them while they're at work or on the way home or you know and you know likewise I don't want to be waking them up like at the crack of dawn or before the crack of dawn <laughs> um so this is helpful this is like I said one of our dashboard sleeves um just slide it in on the side there then I've got our weekly October to December insert and I've got one of our magnetic clips these things are the bomb look how many pages I have in that clip and I could probably even do more and then the way this is laid out, it's laid out Monday through Sunday. A little different than we're used to, but that's okay. Puts the, the fun days over here, work days over here, or however it works out for you. If you work a full-time job, you're probably looking to do your direct sales more here and more here. However it works for you. Got room to put must do it on the list. You got plenty of room for notes down here. What I do is I write down any trainings that we have, any you know leadership calls, because I am in the leadership with Tula 12, along with my daughter's schedule. Um, she's taking winter exams right now, so I know what times I'm picking them up from her up from school. Writing down family appointments, that way I don't like double book. And then what I'm thinking is, I'm changing it up for 2021 because you see, I got lots of white space here that maybe this may not be the best insert for me. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to switch back to the monthly layout and see how that works for me. Again, you know, it's the typical monthly calendar that you see. Um, but I got so much more behind it that's going to help me with my business. And I'll show you that here in a minute. You know, since typical monthly thing, you can write down, you know, when the kids are out of school, you know, any appointments, what have you. I'm going to go back to this for my parties and my trainings and everything. Um, just, I think it'd be a lot more feasible, I guess. Um, and this insert goes all the way through 2021. Here is the other half of that dashboard in a uh, pocket that we have. I've got the, the holidays and observances here just to keep me in track, especially when it comes to what days the mail goes and what days the mail does not go, because I always seem to forget that. Um, over here, important dates. You know, if you want to jot down teamed birthdays or whatever, you know, you can do that. I mean, you can use that for anything really um next thing i have is 
the direct sales goals and have no this is not the direct sales goal this is the goals and habits insert this is not the one for direct sales again i've got another magnetic clip it's really cool you can use this for personal goals you can use this for business goals so many different ways you can use it if you're looking to for the new you new yeah new year new you type thing you know if you want to make you know holiday or new year's resolutions you can do that with this if you're looking to increase your productivity you know keep yourself more on task with your business you can do that as well the way i am using it is i've got december written down it says goals and notes my goal is to hit senior brand leader again um weekly habits to track you've got five weeks here that you can check and then my weekly habits are check in with my front line of girls that are on my team um set up new parties send out my maiden mail which is the samplers of to the 12 booklets and other goodies that i may have around hostess coaching recruiting and update the achievements for my team checking that off as i go over here you've got daily habits to track and you've got one through 31 here all little boxes you got room to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven different tasks every day um what i do is i send happy birthdays out to everybody that are i'm friends with on facebook just kind of keeps me in there in their news feed and you know gets me on their wall Yeah, maybe they'll go look at my profile and see what i'm up to maybe they'll see something you know that they want to comment on like share it's all about networking post a story you know that up at the top of facebook you know there's that little thing that little board at the top where you see it pe pictures that everybody posts that's a story um i can i sometimes do funny little memes up there i sometimes will put to the specials up there new products it's another way to get seen um, post two to three times a day in your VIP group. That's important. That keeps your, your audience interested, gets them to, to interact, to comment, you know, like post. Um, that helps with your lovely little group algorithms that fa Facebook likes to change on us constantly. Um, post a daily post a daily post on my business page. Again, that's another way to get seen you know get the get those posts out there get them seen get them shared post two or three times a day on my wall about things that interest me or about stupid stuff that seems to happen in my life <laughs> i have a hashtag it's called just another day in Grandland, and that's pretty much it the goofy stuff that happens in my life i could write a book people would not believe it was true honestly <laughs> um then following up with with your customers and your hostesses um i have it broken down in three different things um follow up on orders yeah you know, within the last two to four weeks uh, i follow up with those folks make sure they got their orders see how they're doing follow up on orders the last one to two months again seeing if they're using the system seeing if they have any questions or if they're having any problems you know see if maybe they need a new insert because the one one that they currently have maybe isn't working just right for them you know it's important for the follow-up and then here follow up on any interest this would be anyone that might be interested in the business opportunity or someone that says wow that that plan is really cool you know follow up with them see you know if there's something you can help them out with see if they want to order an insert or two you know kind of get their feet wet so that's a possibility. You know, this could be applied to pretty much any direct sales business. Pampered Chef, Tupperware, Sensi, you name it. This this book might help you really keep your nose to the, the grindstone, I guess. You know, stay on task. So check that one out. This is just the, this is the goals and habits. This is not the direct sales goals and habits. This is the everyday one that anybody can use for any purpose. Okay, then, I know you guys are probably thinking grade book. Why should I have a grade book? This isn't for school. I want to show you this. This is something I picked up from my sponsor, and I ran with it. And Oh, my Lord, is it gold. 
Again, another magnetic clip. This is the one I use for my parties. We have another book. It's called Direct Sales Parties and Events. I started out with it, but it seemed like this way seems to work better for me. Um, more information at a glance. You know, I can I can see at, at a glance. You know, okay, I got to follow up with this person, or I need to check with my hostess, or you know, this seems to work better for me because I do multiple multiple parties you now a week so let me show you this let me see i find a good one here that doesn't have addresses on it okay Let's see if i can get you moved in here a little bit what i do and like i said this would work for any direct sales company Okay, it's just a it's a, it's a grade book, right? Here, let me show you. Blank. Okay, you got one to thirty going down the side. So you have thirty spots to put people's names, and then you've got all of these running across the top, like the old grade books you you, you remember from high school or yeah, grade school. Then there's room on the opposite side. It's just basically mirror image here. So what I do is I put my parties I put the dates in this case I had two hostesses I wrote their names down I also wrote their names down up here I'll show you why here in a minute then across the top I put friend request you know am I are they now in connected to me directly on Facebook so that I can you know touch base with them you know about their orders or you know See if maybe they want a book, you know, give them results of a game. I'll, you know, basically touch, touch, feel, feel, you know, the more you touch someone. Well, I know that sounds bad, but <laughs> it is what it is, right? <laughs> um, personal shopper form. I actually have a Google document where I can help people determine what area of their lives they need the most help getting organized, whether they've ordered whether they've completed my hostess form again another google doc yeah you know, where i list all of my available dates for the next three or four months you know and they can go in and decide where they want to you know if they want a book where they want a book and then once we've actually done the booking process where i take the results of this and i go back and i touch base with you know the person that completed the form and confirmed everything i'll put booked and i'll put the date that they're booked for are they in my vip group Again, I want to keep the constant contact with folks, and my VIP group is the way to do it. Business Opportunity Group. My team has a business opportunity group where we go over all the awesome info that, about what Tool of 12 can provide to folks that sign up. And then I start getting into the games I play. Um, did it, they win a $5 gift card? certificate did they win a ten dollar gift certificate did they win maiden mail which again is a sampler of you know mini sampler of some of the the, the books that we have available punk and chuckin is a really fun game that i play with folks and with that one i write down their grid number because it's kind of like a battleship game and then secret word every party i do in the group announcement Somewhere in the group announcement is a secret word. I have folks message me what they think the secret word is. And then I, I'll, you know, jot down, you know, who, who played the game. And then what I do, give you my secrets here. I'll get an envelope. I'll put an index card in it. Before I post this game in the party, I'll pick a word out of that group announcement, write it down on that index card and put it in the sealed envelope. And then at the end of the, the party, I open it up and see if anybody won. And then over here is just kind of info for me. Um, this is, is, has the party been confirmed? Before I go through the process of setting up the group and set, scheduling the post and everything, I double check with the hostess, you know, make sure nothing has come up. You make sure we're still good for the, the date that we origin, originally said we were going to do this. And then I'll put check mark. Post my party is what I use for my scheduling my posts. I like this a lot because it frees me up to actually interact with my guests and my hosts. I'm not worrying about, oh my God, this post has to go next. I don't have to worry about that. 
I can work on, you know, answering questions, you know, playing, you know, playing along with people, having fun with folks, you know, answering questions, doing the forms. Um, I, I set up the group and I create the event link. Actually, that's backwards. I do the confirmed, the event link, set up the group, and then do schedule the post my party. But that keeps me on task as well. And then what I do is, as the party's going along, I write down anybody that participates. And the reason I wrote the hostess names both here and here is because I can, if when I have multiple hosts running at the same time, I can check off, okay, this person is, is with Ashley, this person's with Margaret. Keeps me on task so I don't, you know, accidentally email somebody that says, oh yeah, well, you know, I don't want to say this girl is with Ashley when she's actually not, she's over here. And then I go down through and as they com complete the personal shopper form, check, friend request, check. If they ordered the hostess forms, if they've booked, I goofed here and I put check mark instead of the date, um, whether they're in the VIP group and so on. And then the punk and chuck in game. Everybody's a winner in my game. Um, Again, it's kind of like the secret word thing. I've got the grid has 25 spots on it. They give me their guesses. It's kind of like bingo. Or, well, not bingo necessarily. Uh, like Battleship. Every envelope. So I have 25 envelopes with an index card in it. Every index card has some sort of prize on it. I go over here. When I do the live and do the reveal, I write down what the person has won. Okay, and then I keep track of it. Like this person won $25 off a host order with $500 party. This is something special from me on top of the hostess rewards. You know, just fun stuff, you know, free maiden mail, you know, stuff like that. So it really keeps me focused on, you know, what I'm doing. And it's one page as opposed to having base. Our direct sales online party is basically a two page layout. So for each party, it's taking up two pages in my book and it's really not providing me that key info at a glance like I need, uh, like I'm doing here. So this is an idea if you're doing parties. Um, let's see Then let me get back over here and I will slide back up. I have another grade book insert. I know grade book insert really. This is where I do my extended follow-up. Okay. I'll show you this. Everybody that has been a guest, a hostess, a customer, gets put into this gradebook uh, insert. And then what I do is I use this for my follow-up. So as you can see, I've got lots of names here. Um, across the top, I put whether they ordered, who they were referred by. The CHGJ is customer hostess joined. Did they join my business? Personal shopper, notes, hostess form, whether they scheduled, you know, or booked, whether they're in my biz op group or my VIP group. And then I do my follow up here. I'm going to change this though, I think, because I was utilizing this yesterday and realized it's really not helping me out a whole lot. So here I have one through 30, which was the days of the month. I was actually a day short because it was October. Then I go through and I do my follow-up. But what I'm thinking is with follow-up, you want to do follow-up two to four weeks after a person orders, make sure they got it, make sure that, you know, they're using it. And then, you know, two to four months after see if they're still using it, see if they have any questions, any concerns, maybe we need to change something up a little bit. So I'm thinking the way I've got this set up right now isn't really working for me. So I may change this to, you know, do you know those time periods so I can see at a glance. Um, so that's, you know, a couple of different ways you can use the gradebook insert. And then I got a well noted in here. Let me slide back up here. This is where I jot down and forgive me, this is a mess. <laughs> Um, I was writing down, we did a direct sales productivity workshop a few months ago and I, I was writing down everybody that I invited. Um, 
people that order, people that, you know, agreed to host. This is something I've been playing with a lot. Um, my gift cards, you know, I said that, you know, I, I award $5 gift cards, $10 gift cards in the parties, you know, as prizes. I write down the date that I bought them, the amount. I put down the code, which I'm not necessarily going to show you. And then I write down the winner's name and I need to start keeping track of whether they used it or not, which I'm pretty sure all these ladies have because I was looking at that the other day. Folks that win maiden mail. So it's a great way to kind of keep track of all the little stuff. Um, and then, yes, this is a composition notebook. Yes, it will fit in our extra large planners. I have one of these in here. Now, I've got it on a jump band. You could also slide the back cover here into the this pocket here if you didn't want to take up space on your elastic. This is kind of where I just... You think the other was sloppy. This is sloppy. Um, these are the stuff pages where if I want to rip something out, I can rip something out. You know, it's not going to hurt anything because of the way the binding is, you know, on the comp books. Um, I don't necessarily want to rip pages out of our inserts because, you know, we've got the saddle stitch down the center, you know, which is the two staples. You know, if you rip a page out of here, you're probably going to lose, you know, it's a posing page, too, when you pull that out. So I don't want to do that. This is just kind of like little stuff, you know, ideas that I have. Um, prize winners from, like, the games, the Punk and Chuck and the Battleship game and all that. When I'm calculating, like, special deals I want to do, this is where I do my math. So, I mean... There's a lot of different ways you can use this for direct sales. And, of course, I've got my mini brochures here. You've got a pocket here, the big pocket back here. And, of course, we've got the pen loop, and I've got one of our pen gem pens here. But this is what I use for my personal direct sales business. Um, I have another book that I use for my team, which I will show in another video, because I know not everybody necessarily is building a team. That's fine. If you want to concentrate on sales, concentrate on sales. You know, nobody's telling you. There is no wrong way to do your business. Um, I'm just saying this may help you stay more on task and help your productivity. Um, I will do another video and post it about how to keep your direct sales team, how to keep, keep them on task, how to do the training, how to keep track of training, you know, achievements, you know, rewards, all that. I will do another video for that. So thank you for hanging out with me. And I, if anyone has any questions, email me. My email will be in the comments of the, the video. So have a great day. Stay safe and be happy.